Rabbit cannot see. Crazy Canuck, 1985. And, yeah. Now, obviously, Andre being Andre, he was asked to fill out a form and he hasn't done so. So I've got no idea of any conditions or anything he wants. Um, I'm going to assume it's noon and clear. I imagine that's what he'll have wanted. Classic Canuck. Um, yeah, let's just go with all defaults. I didn't need much more than that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. I mean, it's a miracle he remembered when the end of the contest was. So, we're all fine. So, yeah, it's been cool watching this one come together. And, like, I know that it's a really different... It's Andre's trying to do a lot of things differently to previous courses, and it's cool. I, I think he's gone for the four greens in 200 yards somewhere. I can't remember where that was. And we got three right there. Yeah, so that was going to be one of the elements. There's this creek, which he loved doing. He's a huge fan of his creek. Um, I mean, straight away, looking at the plot, I really, I do really like it. It's a, I feel like this contest is pure delta for like all sorts of styles that aren't delta but the like the tightness of it works really well and yeah oh we've got to look at a clubhouse have we the colors are perfect there is a clubhouse it's got some stuff it's got a range oh look at these they're measured and everything non stock shaped greens I mean, A plus for effort. We've got a car park that's got, like, cars in it. He's got a maintenance shed and everything. Jeez. Arrows. What are these arrows about? Amazing. They're at, uh, behind the clubhouse, to be say. <laughs> uh, uh, right, definite bonus points there. So, yeah. I mean... I'm digging the lighting big time as well. I think that works really nicely. <laughs> That's so good. The thing that leaps out to me off the first hole is I don't, I, I don't like this. I get they're in there because they're new, but I don't know. It just like everything else feels really cool and natural, and that I'm not sure about the the one sign. Second best view. I love that the first hole is open and wide and it introduces you to your main features like it's got a great sight line, classic Andre. But also introduces you to waste bunkers and the colours and like everything we're expecting. Big green. I feel like the green's maybe a touch big. But again, kinda makes sense with the nice open start. <laughs> I mean, it worked for Barry Bay, so yeah. I do like the m massive amount of space, and e ooh, rolls on the fairway and lumps and bumps are great. Just a nice, gentle start, and whether intentional or not, we would have got a better angle coming in at this side, which I do like. You're going to get a few puddling comments about this, like with your low point being around about here. I, I don't really care too much. I, it's clearly sandy soil, it'll probably drain. But yeah. I, f I figure you're probably used to your puddle comments by now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, did not want the slow. Hang on. Damn it. Um, I do like the fact that you've gone without an apron on this. It would have looked really weird. It wouldn't, wouldn't have made much sense. And you've given us a bloody ocean of green, I've missed it, so doesn't need one hey Matt I feel like this bit of green is probably a bit flat, I'd like just a touch of movement I mean, I'll, I'll still miss the dead flat part, but mmm, great looking second hole those <laughs> those signs are really going to annoy me. Fun green as well. I do f feel like the length of shot we've... I don't know, I feel like this green is maybe a touch on the smaller side. Like, 
If we put a pin back here, I am worried. Then again, once we hit it, the putt's going to be relatively tame, so I guess it works. Oh, well, that didn't feel like a slow, but let's go check out the bunkers. Sculpting may be a touch harsh. Right, yeah, if we could raise out that bit and make it a touch smoother. It's a deep bunker. I do not want to be in it for long. Get out. There we go. I mean, don't say it enough, like the look on the first two holes is dynamite, really like it. I think, did you change the lighting halfway through doing this? Because I remember, I swear I remember seeing you plant this and hate some of it, and I don't know, I feel like the lighting's lifted up. <laughs> yeah, this is hole three. There's a, there's a swing, better. Screw you, Wes. Mm. <laughs> Something a little off about this one. I don't know. I think it's the waste bunker in front and that it's kind of flat. Or I think what I'd really look for is like a layup option on your par five that isn't just dropping back dead center. So like maybe if we widened out this fairway a little bit more here, or like had the green sort of peeking out around the bunker, so we could try to roll it in this side. It's kind of a you do or you don't, which yeah. Good view of the car park, big fan. Judges like that. Then again, the green sloping's good. Do you like the little mound there that's going to add an interest for one of the pins? Let's see. <laughs> it doesn't suck. Don't don't do this. Mm. There is no way I'm getting over this front bunker. And if I do, there's no way I'm stopping on the green. So that's a stupid idea. I mean, all that said, the way you've put the hazards is making me make choices and think. So it is not a bad hole. Just like... <laughs> you know, you see things. Oh, that, well, there goes that one. Oh, it stopped. I've just noticed, what, I don't, why is it published at 144? Is this, this, have I accidentally hit it on moderate? I feel like we're missing a trick by publishing at a different speed. Three holes are solid. Like, the flow of holes has been really good. Ooh, I like this one. I mean, the lighting obviously helps, but... So, short par four. If you take driver, you're an idiot, I think. Ton of space. Oh yeah, never try an Andre course on 187s. Like, we learnt that from Pacific Spirit. Pacific Spirit 18 on 187s is like the, one of the funniest things you'll see, but also like, yeah, yeah, it'll break you. Yeah, great look here. The, and this is one of the things you've been doing more and more recently. Or well, I guess actually you've always done this, like the layering of one hole in the background, but I feel like you're doing it a bit more consciously now. I really like it. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, Matty. Funny. Well, this green's a bastard. Like, subtle little bastard, but that slope being on the wrong side of, I really like. Because, yeah, it's a t it is a turtleback green, but there's a bit more to it. That little slope adds a lot more. Mm. 
No, not quite. I mean, you joke about the strategy, but it makes it does make sense because it's a long, like it's a short hole. Please, please, please tell me you got rid of the pin here. Yeah, I think this one's a little small. I think. <laughs> oh, I do keep missing the signs, and then I just suddenly see them when someone mentions it. Enko mentioned it to you. Um, I like the green. I like the narrowness. I just think there's that narrowness can't have necessarily this severity of slope. I think if it were a bit flatter, I'd be fine with it. Just a little harsh. That said, let's go go long and leave ourselves absolutely no chance. Ooh. Yep, gone long. Ah, shit. No, that's also a dreadful part. Yeah, bogey was always going to happen. Come on, Andre, give me a nice easy hole now. This one I really like the look of. Really like the look. Like, because we've done loads of open holes, and now suddenly we're going into closed territory. I love that you've made the flag visible, and it just kind of leads our eye round. Maybe we'd have dropped this tee a touch, just because no one ever plays from the front tees anyway. And it might have shown off a little bit more, but this one's cool. The shadow really helps it. Six. Thanks, Joe. Ah, and there's our creek. Yeah, we got options. So, like, you can carry down here, shorter shot in, can bail out a bit more up here. Uh, I think we can go for it. Can see this being a bastard in different winds. Go, 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 go. Nope. <laughs> Everyone loves the whole signs. They have been a unanimous hit. I like this green a lot. I really do. I think the slopings work nicely. I think you've segmented it into different shapes. I mean, it could be a little bit neater with how it flows from different bits. Might say, yeah, where are we looking? That there goes dead flat, and then it's sort of going here and sort of coming in here and sort of coming down here. I think a little flatten on the fuzzy drip brush there and just dragging that in. <laughs> uh, is Brandon judging? He'll be able to tell you. Oh, sit down. That came out really hot. Nope. Brandon, I'm not sure you do wish. Judging is relatively arduous. It's good. Uh, I tell a lie, it's fun. Oh, we've suddenly gone. We've gone to spines and mounds and things. I don't. I do like this. I just. It feels a little bit of a departure. We are on seven. This is true. Again, a really good look. Can I, I figure this is plant meter issues. I'd have liked to have seen some of the trees at the back sunken down, so it just blocks out the skyline a little bit. Um, righty. The waste bunkers are cool though. They're really adding to it. I feel like they could have been in play a little bit more. But this is fun. Good front pin. Like this little mound is gonna like that sort of stuff, harness that, I really like it, because it means that if we place the pin on the other side or there, you can use that one slope kind of loads of different ways. Yeah. I know, I know, Jeremy, I know. It will be better. CC never ever ever again. It's a great spine. Oh, I've taken too much off it. Hmm. 
Yeah, the car's absolutely kill meter. <laughs> oh, I love that it's now becoming like I'm looking this side. And it's like, where's the eight? Where's the eight? Oh, it's camouflaged. Ooh, we got water in front. Oh, I like this. I do think the creek has broken it up nicely. So I have no regrets in making you waste hours and hours and hours. How am I getting perfect shots off the tee? Well, I'm plus one, so it's not that perfect. Um, I mean, is this worth going for? Probably not. Could bounce off the bridge. This is really well done. Like the distancing on this is perfect. Yeah, he's no absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Mayo gets it. Oh, I don't know if this will clear. Ninety percent of two nine five. Mm. Yeah, probably. Let's just go for it and see what happens. It's not too bad. Can we talk about the mist? I mean, wh you can't. Re I don't think you can do anything about it. It's annoying, but or do you mean like the hazy lighting? What do you mean, this stuff or? Because like those waterfalls, you can't do it. You know, you Unfortunately, we have no choice. I don't think. Oh, go on. There we go. I feel like we deserve that. And back to minus one. <laughs> uh, it's on PC. Um, I'm just going to zoom in again in a second. Just enjoy the moment the nine just breaks out from behind the golfer's head. <laughs> uh, tickles me. Or we can just go this way and... Uh, planting's great. I love... Um, just strikes me. I feel like we've done a lot of straight holes on this course. Oh, shit. Andre. Well, you know how we were under par? I think this ain't going to end well. Okay, I feel like this is doable. <coughs> ah, this bunker's much better than that other one we found. That's good news. Uh, <laughs> it is dangerously placed. I like the view of the, the custom clubhouse. You've set that up really nicely. The whole side placement on that was pu beautiful. Ah, I mean the hazy lighting's worked lo like beautifully, and the little views you get over to these sorts of holes, and just through here, like that's working really nicely. You can see another one of those bloody T signs there, so that's good. I'd have liked to have seen a bit more of this bunker. Maybe if we drop the land just there down a bit and just reveal a little more of the sand, but otherwise this hole's good. I, skyline approach is cool. All for that. Ah, uh, oh shit. Oh shit. Um, that's a short path three. I'm okay with that. And we're going to make a bogey. If if not more, we might put off the front of the green here. Mm. Please turn. Please turn. Shit. 
told you. This is, yeah. Oh, and I can't take the flag out, which means it's almost certainly just going to bounce off the thing. Or not. Let's just go and make double. <laughs> Creek here is really good. And um, this is... I, th I think this sort of hole we've needed a little more of. Just where there's... Like, water cutting in, not just having the water in, but the fact that it's cutting in diagonally really makes you think. Really fun pin as well, because we've got, for the first time in a while, we've got slopes helping us. So I kind of feel like I can be a little more conservative on the tee shot and feel happy about laying up. I love, 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 I, this is your best hole, Ang, just because both hazards are coming diagonally, kind of picking my poison as to whether I want to go all the way over here and really chance it. Or if I want to bail all the way back down here. Mm. Yeah, but I don't know if anyone would. I. I mean, would you? You can't drive the green. You can't drive to there. Like, why? I don't get why you'd hit to there when you could just hit to there and have. I don't know. I don't like the trees. Are, I guess maybe, but you'd leave how far in? I mean, if you're leaving 200 plus in on a really short hole, I think you're kind of missing a trick. Not with your tree. Oh, sit down. That's just a really good tee shot. And like the way you put the pin, I think it's a great approach as well. I love this little area you've done really, really nicely. And actually, what I, the thing I most like about stuff like this, uh, this is 11. <laughs> the thing I like most about stuff like this and the way you've done these greens in close, close proximity is I can now think, well, I've played this one already and I remember the shot I hit in there. And then I'm starting to look at this one and go, well, not which hole was this one? And we're going, oh, yeah, that's that. Uh, well actually, which hole is that one? That's not ten. Is that the first? That's the first, isn't it? Yeah. So it just kind of brings back those, like, it's a little callback. <laughs> Look at all these perfects. I mean, struggling big time, but... Yeah, I think you can get some. Uh, is the water above the green height? No. Maybe you would have raised the whole green up, like keep the sculpting as is, because I still love these. But probably about two feet, just because of the water and where it is. But not a must. Ah. Yeah, I agree, Jeremy. I I'm. I'm a big fan, and judging from the meter issues, I think you'd have struggled had it been more spread out. But I think you're with this four greens, like that little cluster, and playing away from them as well, it really adds something. Oh, I like this tree a lot. Because that is just making me question whether I can do this or not. And we can't. Huh. That's a fun tee shot. Like, it's not... Because it's not a problem if I go out here, but... Yeah, might have liked a little bit more. So, uh, something on the approach shot. I just kind of feel like it's a case of can I hit up that high, high or not. Spine. I like the idea. Maybe a touch severe. Mm. And let's come back down. That's a sneaky tough green, which I like. It's a par 5 where, as you said, yeah, actually I think that green works really well with this. Mm, 
not sure I feel comfortable about this getting up the slope, but... <laughs> That's an Andre pin. Yep, right there. Ah, screw you, Andre. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I think I actually like it a lot more now I've seen the green. I found 13. It's like playing Where's Wally. This is a cool green as well. Hon honestly, I reckon I like this more than you do, by the sound of what you're saying. I do think occasionally your green slopes don't necessarily, like if all the land's high here, I don't really get why this one's high and this bit's low. I, I think it would make more sense to go the other way. Hmm, probably want to lay up, but 462. I think what I might have liked you to do a bit more is give me a touch more fairway out here so it's not necessarily just choking down and can you hit the fairway but like the further I go the wor if, if you're angling the green like that way so it's tight facing this side and then you've got the tier going that way well the further right I go the worse I am but I, again I love the sightline back to this green I think it's working really nicely Hey Patrick I agree. I. Th mm. Oh, we got perfect again. And like the green site here looks great. I love the way like. And I do like this slope because it does funnel the ball down. Mm. The lake is brought in nicely now, I think. Oh, damn, I thought I was going to go further. Well, shit. Yeah, I think it's a good time to bring the lake in as well, because we've gone away from the creek for a couple of holes. Uh, 25. I like the way you've matched the flags with the um, the hole signs, though. That's a low-key... Whoops. That's a low-key good touch. Hmm. So I mean, it is drivable, but I feel like I'm going to have to bound it in here and hold it. I don't know how often I'd try to drive this green. I might, uh, might like a tiny bit more fairway to allow me to run it on, or just like it to look like the sculpting might guide the ball on. But then that's a, that's kind of how I like to do these sorts of holes. So, it might just be a me thing. That said, I like that you give me a ton of options. Like if I want to play close to here and just leave a pitch in, or and it's going to be pin dependent, and you're a nasty little tear at the back. Mm, where are we going? I mean, I could just play here and kind of go long. Having said I'm not going to go for it, kind of tempted to hit a partial into the bunker. Or we'll just go there. Got a fast. <laughs> Fair. Creeks are creeks are a bitch. You have to plan them out well in advance and Yeah. What would Ben do? Ben nah uh, I don't know. Probably also put a lake if he got bored. I mean this is gonna be the hole where G Dog plays over here for the angles. Definitely. Ooh, little hogs back. This is Andre's template hole. Good green. Ah, it wouldn't be a Canuck course if we didn't have the one fall off tier to the back. Ah, shit. Oh, that was a genuinely dreadful swing. 
We've got a gap. It's okay. No way we're getting there. Hunt King Groom and a hog's bag. Yeah, he's nailing it. We'll have him making squared off greens in no time. And grab. Nope. Yeah. I swear, I cannot make straight parts. It's okay, we got a bogey. It's fine. <laughs> feel like this one needs a little something. And I don't hate it. I just I'm not uh, like for not a long hole. I don't really. I mean, I'm sure I'll screw it up, but I'm not really totally sure where the difficulty is on this one. See, we'll screw it up. Ah, okay. Well, hey, but at least your last one you built was not 18, so we're getting there. And as promised, we've hit the worst part ever. I don't know why it does that when I take it back slowly. This is your one you built in like 30 minutes, isn't it? I like it. I don't know if there's a way to make... The one thing I wish with this lake is that it was a bit more visible from somewhere. I wonder if lowering this down would have made that visible or raising the tee up or... I don't know. But I do, having said that, I love that you've brought us back to this green again. And that's like that's been the real high point of this course for me. Uh, okay, yeah, I figured you might have done. I think it's just hard from the angle, isn't it? Waldo almost almost got you. Yeah, it's he's sleep he's a sneaky little bugger there. I for what I've talked about on different greens, I love all of the green slopes on this hole apart from this one at the back. Kinda feel like if you've made it up to that tier you should just be rewarded rather than necessary sloping and feeding off the back, but everything else is perfect. Like, I like this one if you're a bit too greedy. I like this to funnel it down. I like this, like the severity of the tear at the back. And that one's going to be an absolute fucker. Yeah. It's not a great shot, but it will do. Hey, we make a putt. I don't really I really don't feel the greens are that difficult. I'm just putting awfully. Oh my goodness, the cars. It's when they pop in. Stupid game. I like the tee shot. I like the big view. I like that we've got bunkers both sides. I think it works well because it does make it feel like a big closing tee shot, which this course needs. Ah, after all the waste bunker stuff, I like, Need to finish off strong. Hmm, ain't gonna go well. Oh no, we're we're okay. Look at that full parking lot. That might be the biggest parking lot in the contest, which I think is an automatic win. And there we go. Well, we make a par on 18. Not my first round. Um, and it has arrows. The arrows were really cool. There's lots I loved on that, actually. I think I think you've gotten a bit down on yourself in part of this process. I know that talking to you. And I don't think you need to, because I, th I see there's a lot of things there that I think you're doing better than you ever have done. The tight routing's great. Uh, no worries, buddy. Well, you can <laughs> catch you later, buddy. Um, 
you can catch this later on. I do think there's loads that you're doing absolutely right and is going to make real benefits in like just a couple of courses time. The tight routing works so well. The multiple green sites in view at once. It really does give you a like, oh yeah, I played that hole, played that hole. Oh, can't wait to get to that one. Those sorts of things, which I thought really work. Um, I think some of your internal green contouring is really cool and like the spines and things. I'd maybe like it to make a bit more sense with some of the hills around the holes and just like bringing outside in into greens would help a little bit more. Um, yeah, the whole the whole signs we know my thoughts on. That's fine. Um, if I go back to like your best hole, what I'd wish you bottle, what I'd want you to bottle up is like so going back to that eleventh is that kind of diagonal nature of hazards. I felt a lot of times on this it was just a bit too vertical and it's either you're hitting tempo or you're not. Now that said, my tempo is actually pretty good and yet I've still scored really badly um, just because I can't par. But it was a lot of fun. Like you do a lot of things really well. The planting's great. The flow of holes is really good like, and that's the sort of stuff that people normally screw up on. Um, so yeah, just like, it might not be your favourite but hey, you've got a really rich portfolio you're not going to get a favorite every single time like it gets to a point where you can't get better every course so i, I just i appreciate you trying new things and doing different stuff which is what we all want to see um but yeah hopefully some of that's helpful right i've definitely got enough for i've definitely got enough for one more at least now i need to have a little look and see what is now wes posted a thing in the thread didn't he one of those pictures. So let's see what we've got to come. I have oh Minna Haugen I haven't played. And I haven't played pa no Pablo's was the next out which I hadn't played. So I'm gonna go with that. We're gonna be back on in a minute with Pablo's. See you later Matt.